Hello AACPS staff and welcome back to our video series on using timeline mode. In this video we're going to begin talking about layering and our first scenario for layering is going to be if you want to have text appear over top of your video. If you remember in our previous videos in our storyboard series we talked about the option to put text on a video using the caption feature and you were very limited in how you could have your text displayed with the captions. You had a blue box behind your text, you could only put it in the lower left or lower center of your video clip. Here in timeline mode with the layers available to us, we can have text that displays directly over top of our video clip with no background needed at all and we even have the ability to decide exactly where we want it to be. Do we want it to be in the center, bold, large, filling the entire video or do we just want to have it be a sort of an aside and pushed off to the upper left hand corner. So we'll see how to layer and add our text and then how to move and change the size of it so that it can either be prominent or just a little footnote included in your video. So if you turn your attention to the bottom of my screen where I have my timeline um, and I'm ready to begin building. So what I've done is I've pulled down a video clip that we're going to use as our example here. I was inspired by spring because it's March. So I just found something that looked very inviting and outdoorsy. And I've dragged that down and put that in the video 2 track area. And that was what we said in our very first video on timeline mode that this is where you want to build if you want something to be on top viewed over top of any other videos. But since I'm going to put text on top of this, what I actually want to do is I want to slide this down to video one track and I'm going to save video two for the text that I want to appear above this. So now I'm going to go up here to my text menu and the options that I'll see here are identical to what we saw in the storyboard videos. I have the motion text, the static text, and so on, and all of the exact same clips available to me. But what I want to point out now are these uh, clips that have the colored background. So snippet quote, for example, things like eye opening title, bullseye title, sweep title, and so on. That colored background is not going to be completely opaque if used over this, but it will put this sort of, uh, in this case, purplish haze over top of it. So you will see the color if you choose to use one of those. Any of the clips that you see that have a black background, however, let's bring this one down for our example. That black background actually indicates that there is no background included with this clip at all. And if you put it in a layer here in timeline mode, that it appears completely clear except for the text and any other features like these colorful boxes included in this one. And we can see the entire video that's playing behind it. So let's take a look at how we can edit this clip. Because we're in timeline mode, it's a little bit different. The thumbnails are different sizes than they were in the storyboard mode, and we're not immediately when we hover over this seeing that pencil option. But what you do have right above this clip is what we call a hamburger menu, three little horizontal lines, and your editing pencil is right there. When you click to go into editing mode, it's pretty much the same options for editing a text clip that we saw in storyboard mode. I have the ability to change the colors that are included in this so I can find something that contrasts nicely with the background that I have there and choose the colors of the other features like boxes, lines, things like that that are included in there. And then again, I can click to type my text in each of the boxes to replace the text on each line included here and so on. But what if I don't want this to be right in the center of my screen? What if I want it to be say over on the right hand side? Well while I'm in the editing mode where I am right now I can simply click on this in my player I can push this to anywhere on my screen that I would like it to be. I can even use these handles that are included in the corners here to resize it. So if I just want this to be, oh I don't know, bottom left down here, I can drag it down there and resize it to the way that I would like it to look. And then when I play, you can see that what we get is the text down there in the bottom. And even more importantly, when I save my changes and I exit out of editing mode, you'll see that that blue select box is not viewable here 
when we're in uh, the finished product play. Okay, so that's been adding text and then customizing your text here in timeline mode using the layers. Check back for some additional videos on how you can incorporate layers.